Hey guys, what's up? It's time for new, uh, new interesting stuff for uh, process. Uh, it's been a long time. We not do any silver, so I got some silver plated item, and I just want to show you how I quickly recover silver. Let's go to work. This, here in this bag, I got some silver plated item, and I got almost a two kilogram kilogram and 900 grams almost uh, two kilogram this stuff and what we got here so like little crucible uh, it's a copper everything this it's a copper with the silver plating it's a silver inside We got some silver too, and we got here. I must remove that first. This is one uh, transistor. See the leg? See leg inside here. I got a couple of these. See, it's a transistor. Three legs. And uh, this is when I. Just uh, make some test, and you see that it's copper, and all that white is the silver. So, what I'm gonna do first, I will cut that in the small pieces, put in bucket, and uh, I do that with the dilute nitric acid. So, it should be that I can get, I could get. Uh, Nine to find silver, silver oxide. Okay, let's start. I'm not sure what this stuff is, but when I broke him, it's copper inside, but. Here you got some gold plated mesh, little micro mesh. So I will remove that gold plating and uh, everything else put in nitric acid. Okay, we remove some gold plated stuff, some little contact and a couple of three leg transistor, some silver. We will process that. In a different way, and we got in a bucket all our other stuff. So now we will go and make solution 50% nitric acid and 50% distillated water, and we'll we will add in that bucket. Okay, don't worry. This bucket is very strong. It's plastic, but very strong, and acid is not hard. That bucket. Okay, here in the jar we got nitric acid, and here we got with distillated water. Now we're gonna add already see some bubbles. Just let us shake that water. Now we will leave that, and because I expect very nasty fumes, and uh, we will leave that to do his own job, and we go to work something else. Okay? You could only see some bubbles. Reaction is already start, but it's slowly reaction. It's time because it's cold weather.
Okay, reaction is done. We already removed solution. It's very dark. But it's not pure, it's not blue because this is not, it's a, this is just dirty water, so I can touch me with my bare hand. This is not uh, clean copper, this is copper and nickel too. So I just want to show you, you see that? This white stuff, now it's nickel. And here we got left some silver, silver plate. See that? Okay. You see that? It's actually a silver plate. Some little here. See that? Yeah. See? It's a silver. Uh, so, this is a copper, then nickel layer, then silver layer. Okay? But not problem. It's the uh, same process. Now we got clean metal and all silver is removed. It's on the bottom. You can see you see that slug it's hot water and smoke uh, you see that slug on the bottom it contains silver slug silver oxide slug okay now we're gonna clean that and filter that and I'll show you what I got okay okay just to show you see that this is the silver left on nickel. Here we got some stamp mark. Now we are remove that stamp. And you see that underneath it's left silver still left. So silver was removed but uh, nickel stay. Okay, this is some of the slug which remains got some yellow color I think they got some little rust but we will remove that and this is silver oxide okay this is what is remain it's uh, everything is clean some little trace of silver see that but uh, it's mostly everything is clean. It's clean. So some copper exposed here. This is alloy of copper and nickel. It's clean. And you see inside inside this yellow stuff here uh, yellow and white stuff inside it still remains some silver but here it's mostly clean this side is clean we will process again we will look at that bucket again and see where the silver remain so I repeat that but uh, it's mostly clean we will strip 90% of silver from this you want to see how it's look pure silver oxide see that already ready for melt when you melt this 
this is be uh, at least 9 to 5 silver to get but cool this is just a part I got some here Okay, sorry about my speech, I'm wearing a mask, because this ATL fucking fumes, because this, this is ATL, uh, when the reaction stop, I did can solution in this little barrel, and after it settled down, See that settled on the bottom, I decant that in the bucket. And this tool barrel is uh, from rinsing the slide from the bucket and uh, the slide from the metal pieces. Uh, look at that, we got some silver oxide on the bottom. And some yellow slide because of nickel. Uh, here too. Now we need we need to remove nickel, and I want to do that with a HCL. Silver it should remain after this. Because there is no more free nitric inside, and uh, you make a corrigia, and the uh, silver don't dissolve in HCl. So I will add more. Okay, I will do the same stuff here. That will should dissolve all the rust and leave one silver. Okay, after we add HCl inside, see the color change and we got some, see on the bottom, we got some silver chloride, not too much, we'll wait this to settle down and we filter, convert with a lie, see that? But this is not a bigger amount, okay? Okay, after filtration, this is our silver oxide. I'm gonna put that here and put on fire to make him dry. And we go to melt this, okay? We dry, okay guys, we dry that. So it's our paper and see this? So 
So we need to melt this right now. Okay. 